Hello there, man. I'm here. here. Welcome back to World of Warcraft, where the plus one and twelve server. And yeah, today I want to work on a few quests. Check out if I can do some over here. And uh, this one seems doable. Uh, I don't have that much inventory space on me. Yeah, whatever. This should this should be the dungeon quest. Uh, water pouch bounty. I think I can do that. Ten bandits. What? That's it. And ten thieves. Okay, that's no problem. I did that already a few times a while back. Okay, that's too high too. It's copied string and the other one. Okay, so that's it for those quests that I'll, I'll go east, check those out, and go up up to the sun up up to the sand moon village, and I'll check out what's going on there this time. Never been there yet, but I've seen uh, there's a quest that's that should be in in range. So let's do that. Yeah, uh, I really just want to get some. Um, to, to do something else today instead of the daily grind. Did you know how, how, why it is called the daily grind? I hope you do. In case you didn't, it's because people used to grind their flour for bread daily. And that's why it's the daily grind. Pretty easy. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit overkill, but yeah, whatever. Let's just go do this real quick. This is, by the way, guild camp of the Hard Knocks Society. Yeah, obviously the first one that I picked but it has a box like that. Uh, it's still showing 439 more insects to level up because my paladin is grinding insects only to level 60 basically. And yeah, I'm... Um, Still doing that. Today, for example, I'll stream again. 8 p.m. I don't know why I didn't do this quest yet. I think I thought I did it, but I did it on my paladin, I think. That's an option. I think I did this quest on my paladin, but not on the... Um, the ro rogue. Yeah, that's an option. Oh, I'm so restless in that regard. I want to get level 60 finally. But yeah, let's last stream Monday. I was too tired. I stopped after an hour or something. Still got like 15% of the level, but... Yeah, that's not much, right? I need... I'm level 55. I need to level up. Today, basically, and then go to the trainer. After the four hours stream time or something. And then tomorrow I'll stream on the German channel again, the raid AQ40 probably. Then I'll... Friday I'll stream again. And Saturday I probably won't be able to. Oh yeah, maybe Friday I won't be able to now that I think about it. Yeah, I should, whatever, I should be able to do that Friday. Uh, yeah. let's let's go further east. Check this uh, troll village real quick. Check out this troll village. 
No, don't know if they uh, updated the map, so the mini map. Uh, looks like that's a no, because here's the path, and you can see it's not updated. So they should re-render this bit and I put it in the next update. I've seen that I've that they did that with like over here and stuff like that. So should be doable here. Huh? Yeah, that's a little bit small of a village, what we see here. And the textures don't line up very well here. Yet, hopefully. Meat for Weissclaw. Ten chunks, chunks of total meat. Oh my god. Well, let's go collect turtle meat, yay! Let's check the other quests. I think there are two more. Sand Moon Village, 299 experience points, not bad. Interesting. Not just some gear. What's this quest? 12 rock meat, hyena skins. I can do that. Uh, there are another quest around here. Yeah. There seems to be one more. Gadgets and willing to find a person. Yeah, I think I can do with that. Deal with that. Ancient lore charms. Orgos of Dune Mall. Be driving us away from our ancient temples. I will not tolerate them defiling our sacred gods and their symbols. I think that's uh, yeah over there. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, 47, 48. Yeah, that might be a little bit too much to me for me. So, wait, uh, turtle meat, right? I can get that on the coast here too. I don't need to go down there. 39. Basically the same drop rate, more or less. But yeah, let's go to the east here on the on the beach. There are turtles too for the quest. So I got like, what's that one quest, maybe two quests, definitely three quests. Four quests that I can do now, or what? Still, that's pr probably like 16k only in experience points, right? So, how much do I win with that instead of just farming mobs? Probably not much. But yeah, uh, let's get to level 50. Uh, maybe with quests, whatever, and then I'll end slow instead and then I grind uh, a few levels and then I can do more quests. By the way, let's let's stop that with quest with the wild wine stuff. Yeah, this one. I Probably not won't get any. So Oh yeah.
This music, right? Oh my god, first turtle meat. I need 10 pieces of turtle meat here, yeah, wow. Now I need to kill 25 of those mobs. For that. Ah, fishing is a little bit low, otherwise I would probably fish that. Yeah, I kind of... I, I just thought about the fishing stuff and again the, the arms around dark and potions production in World of Warcraft, right? I feel like, for real, maybe having a reset time of, an, of a month in an, in, a, in an MMO would be an interesting thing. Maybe, maybe have a, a flexible reset timer that's like, okay, no resets until the first kill of the end boss. Which would, that would be problematic, obviously. But actually that wouldn't be too bad, because yeah, that's, that's how I would do this anyways. I, I would like to do this, to, so you do. Um, I would probably tune a raid so you can get the first bosses okay without any too difficult issues then there's a little bit more difficult one in between then there are a few more easier ones and then there's an end boss that's extremely difficult or let's say with the available gear before the raid is cleared it's extremely it, it's it should be doable obviously but um, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's say it like this. If you have the, the max gear that you can have before you go into that raid, I want you to be able to beat that boss in terms of how I would design this. But uh, I would still make it kind of difficult, so only a few uh, a dedicated group gets that kill. And then I would um, probably make it so you only get got get some. You really don't lo get any any loot until the end. The first the first end boss kill is done on the server. So yeah, it's actually 
setting the challenge then. So the first group can say, okay, we killed the boss without getting any any loot from the raid. And once that's done, I think I would... Uh, I would start giving loot of the raid. So people who aren't that big, that they aren't that good at clearing it, will be able to clear it with the uh, loot that they get from the bosses there. Okay, I already got five turtle meat. Not bad. Oh yeah, by the way, how how is my gold? It's not too bad. Guess I want to train a uh, riding skill next. I think after the next few episodes I can actually do that, finally. Yeah. Uh, got no meat again. Wow. 419 to level up of those. Hmm. Yeah, those soundtracks. Seven out of ten meat, yay! Damn, that's strong. I think in the auction house it's more more valuable at the end. Let's try what someone is going to pay. Let's check. Guess yeah, that's probably like five gold at or, or maybe more at sixty. That's the torta turtle. Yeah, now, now that I look at it, uh, the visuals are a little bit old, yeah? I mean, even Nullards Online had better visuals like the, the stuff that's laying around, right? Okay, Alerts Online was created 2009, so something like that. But yeah, that, that, that game didn't survive at all, I think. It's such a weird game, free to play. I mean, if you're following this, this, what I'm doing here and watching every single episode, I've, uh, you've already heard me talk about it on my Paladin Plenty and stuff, but yeah. It was a Russian MMO, more or less World of Warcraft like, had a few interesting quirks and things. But the main issue was free to play, right? So pay to win. For experience gain, you basically needed it that. Otherwise, you were screwed. Then what there was like, uh, well, how you call that in English? A blessing system where you could get blessed for. Wait, 
This was the day, actually. I hope. It might have been less. But, you know, let's just be generous. It was a day. So you could get blessed for a day where you would... Uh, I think that would increase your, your damage and defensive value stuff basically a little bit. Oh no! Now I re remember again. You needed a blessing to have the runes activated. You got one each. I think you got, you got two runes for free, absolutely free. Those were 3.3% attack and 3% defense. Uh, so less damage thing. And 3.3% more damage done. Oh yeah, and then you had... Uh, The ability to upgrade those runes. If you have two runes, you can make upgrade those rank one runes to a rank through two rune uh, without any extra costs. I think. Let's be generous, and that's how it was. Okay. Then, uh, but you would obviously get a rank two rune then, which has, I think, it had the same. Uh, just added stats, right? So it's plus six percent defense or plus six point six offense. Oh, I'm already a little bit over. Whatever. I want to finish that point. What I'm talking about. Um, you could craft those runes with uh, crystal shards that you had to buy from the uh, premium shop, and you, with gold dust that you had to buy from a vendor. That that was around there, and then you had to you could had the option to decide to to have a you had a slider to decide uh, how much, how many shards do you want to use and how many um, crystals do you want to use. I mean it's it's either or basically, and there was like a sweet spot and someone calculated how much money this would take to get the maxed out runes because the maxed out rune is like thirteen. And everyone who knows has basically basic information about computers and about maths knows that... Yeah. It's two runes. It's a rank, rank two rune, right? Two of the rank ones. It's a two, rank two one. So you need four for a rank three. And eight for a rank four. And 16 for a rank five. And 32 for a rank six. 64 rank... 7, 128 rank 8, 265 rank 9, 512 rank 10, 1024 for rank 11, 2048 for rank 12, and 4096 I think for rank 13. So do you need 4096 for rank 4 13? rune and you had six of them you could get so 4k times six is 24k runes no right yeah but that's correct 24k runes of the rank ones you needed for the max max runes uh, i'll go turn this in quest in here the sound up here uh yeah And then the dude calculated, okay, it will be around 200k euros to get the max, max runes with a very lenient, uh, with the most efficient uh, way to buy that in terms of money, because you needed gold too, to, but that was obviously some more grindable. And you could buy premium points with gold, but yeah, that's uh, not sure if how, how well that worked then. I mean, at, at least they had uh, no incentive to go to have gold buying, right? Through th second parties, because they have a implemented way of gold buying in the game. Well, 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 well. well. But yeah, the game was uh, just a tiny bit upgraded from World of Warcraft, to be honest. 
And yeah, World of Warcraft has a completely different style. It's... I... Obviously, you, you know, everyone watching should know that I like this style, otherwise I wouldn't play that much here. Uh, yeah. That's why I didn't like the Cataclysm changes. They, they kind of... Uh, the upgrades to the models kind of made some... Things, oh wait, the meat quest is over there. Made some, made, made really some changes in that regard. Let's see how many qu experience points. Since when I'm I muted? Oh my god. Today nothing is working. Uh, whatever. I don't know how much, how long I talk to myself. I'll check it and I'll end the episode here anyways. Was more of a silent farming than maybe. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.